every black girl I know has a story of white people treating her like she's an exhibit at the damn zoo. Exactly. Yes, don't fuck it. And it's just all about personal space. Girl, mm-hmm. don't touch me. You know, race aside, I don't touch people. I do my very right. best. Right. You don't to just assume not... that familiarity with somebody that well, you don't know. because I don't like to be touched. Exactly. And I don't want people in my bubble. I, in New York, it's hard to maintain your bubble, Woo. but whenever possible, <laughs> I just don't like Wait, people that damn close to me. Right. And it just seems like people should be able to extend that same respect to each other. Mm-hmm. Just don't touch others. Mm-hmm. Especially when it comes to your hair, because I'm always like, my brain is under here. Right. I need this to live. I don't know what your intentions are. I mean, and I what's know. on your fingers? Don't put that exactly. in my beautiful black hair. Like, like, you like, have, like the, the flesh-eating disease or whatever. Mm, don't you touch my scalp on the girl. You could kill me. <laughs> Do not. Just don't touch me, period. Uh, so, you moved to New York from Oklahoma. I did. I don't really know much about the South, to be honest, even though I'm from Virginia. Mm-hmm. It's the Southwest. Oh. Um, it's not the South, especially... It, Ge- I mean, technically yeah, it's the south mm-hmm. but you know as far as culture is concerned it's really yeah. the southwest oh it's, okay it's really i don't know shit let me stop talking <laughs> Texas, arizona it's it's got a different culture than what oh, we know as the okay. traditional south and yeah. the deep south it's country as fuck yes yeah. did you country. grow up with confederate flag yes mm-hmm. i did and i did not realize the magnitude of the confederate flag until well into adulthood mm. because i was just so used to seeing that um pickup trucks you know, all across the state. It was yeah. just very, very common, and I knew what it was, right. but I didn't realize how bad it was uh-huh. until, you know, until I was good and grown. So, I love Oklahoma, um, but it's hard not to be critical of it when mm. it's just dead ass wrong on so many issues that are so important to me and that was part of the reason why I felt like I had to go. I just knew it was going to continue to get worse and I felt like I wasn't doing anything it there like I was just treading Very water stagnant. like I was just wasting my life mm-hmm. you know waiting to get married and have kids because that's all there is that's to do are. like so I just had to leave I just had to get the hell out of there and I could not be more happy that I left but it is still home and I still love it you know my mm-hmm. mom is still there and my brother so mm-hmm. it still means a lot to me but you know they're fucked up and about a lot of stuff yeah. What has the transition been for you to New York City from Oklahoma? Well at first it was very difficult like I could not fathom why I had done this. People walked everywhere. <laughs> which didn't make sense. And why would you walk anywhere? Cars like, exist. The train was so gross. The, like, the, the entire idea of the subway, like the novelty wears off after about the third ride. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs>